Hi all, I've come in here to share another word I received today from Yeshua HaMashiach. This is um, called, My People Are Destroyed From Lack of Knowledge. So I received this in the Holy Spirit. Um, so I was led to read Hosea 4, but to put it into context, it's because people take this line completely out of context. All they read is this. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Um, and so people go out and they want every bit of knowledge that they can get. But they're talking about the knowledge of the world. They think they need to have everything that they need to know about the world. And it, that is not what this means at all. So I'm here to say the word that Yeshua HaMashiach has for everybody. And just to also read from Hosea now. Um, and put it all into context, what it says. And so Hosea 4, 1 to 6. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwells therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yea, and the fishes of the sea shall also be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor reprove another, for this people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet shall also fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So as you can see, this isn't the knowledge of the world that everyone seems um, to think that this this one line that people only ever speak about, um, my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge, they don't read the whole context. And so people are in their Western mindset wanting lots of lots of knowledge about everything apart from God. No, the people that are destroyed from lack of knowledge in this context is the lack of knowledge of God people in the land at that time in Israel and now it's happening in our time and this is why the end times are so perilous is because there's no knowledge of God anymore and it's been taken out of the land and this is exactly what that means and so I will just read out then the word um, that I received then on the 17th of February at 10 past nine my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge knowledge of me. I see the pain and suffering in the world, but they do not turn to me. They speak of me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. I can't warn anymore. I cannot instruct anymore. I cannot send my messengers anymore. These people do not heed my warning, and their hearts are far from me. Their hearts are for themselves and saving their own flesh. They do not have a heart for me. They don't want to spend the time to get to know me, or my ways, or my heart. They are a perverse and selfish generation who only want a ticket out of here. Not even to want to save their neighbours, or worse, their own children. They have no idea how selfish they truly are. Tell them, daughter, to stop thinking of themselves, and what can they get out of me? Or what can I do for them before they decide to choose me? I am the answer to eternal life, yes. But I want a family who love me first and foremost and love their brethren. I will not accept a selfish and perverse heart through my gates into my kingdom. You are to love your God with all of your heart and soul, without all the expectations in your heart. No wonder you have not got deep relationships when you swipe right as soon as you see something that doesn't look good to you. 
And as soon as you see something not quite right about me, you swipe right until something better comes along. You cannot throw me away when you hear something or see something you don't like about me. You pout, you tantrum, you take it out on my messengers, your brethren, you are cruel to each other, all for the sake of being right about a silly doctrine that means nothing if you do not have charity for one another. If you don't understand by now that it is a relationship and your heart I want, then you will fall away because you have a hardened heart and you are full of pride. It's your heart I want and for you to seek the kingdom first and all will be added to you. Seek me, abide in me, be in my word. I won't keep telling you children. It's not about what you can do for me. Are you to be obedient? Yes, but that's for your protection against sin and death. I want you and I want your heart, your heart to be aligned with mine. There's no secret formula. It just takes intentionality to be with me and it takes time. It's a process, a relationship. Real relationships take time to form and with me it's no different. Learn to trust me. Have faith in me. I'm here with you always. It's preparation time, children, and I'm calling on you to be with me. Put down the world. The knowledge that you're destroyed for a lack of is a lack of knowledge about me, your God. Now take this to heart and stop trying to find a quick fix, a magical formula to be saved. It's not about saving your flesh. It's about saving your soul. And for that, you need to come spend time with me in the secret place, which is my heart. I will save you in all ways that can be done, bodily, spiritually, mentally. You will be made whole and I am the answer to all of your questions. Put down the world. Tell them, daughter, put down the pharmacia and the witch doctors you call doctors. They are talking curses over my people. Come to me and have full faith in me and I will heal you. Don't you see, children, I am your everything. I am everything you need. You need no other and you need nothing else in this world. Come to me, child, before it's too late and the door is truly shut. I love you, Yeshua HaMashiach. Captain of the Guard, Holy One of Israel, and I love you, daughter of mine. And that was the word, and he's got some scriptures, he wants me to also read out. Um, also wants just a disclaimer to say that with regards to the pharmacia and Revelation 18.23, which I will just read out. And the light and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. And that word for sorceries in the Greek is pharmakia. And so this is what this is relating to. All, all the nations of the world have been deceived by pharmakia. Now, does that mean that you go out and stop taking your medication and everything right now? No, no, that's not what he's saying. What he's saying is he wants you to go to him, rely on him and pray and ask for healing and for all truth to be revealed to you about this. But it's time to wake up to this deception, to Western medicine, which is a deception and it's deceiving. Now, I won't go into too much about that now. What you need to do is pray about this and go and seek the Lord. Seek the Lord for everything, including including your health and especially your health, because this is where the nations, the nations are being deceived and have been deceived. So that's a disclaimer about that. And now I've got the other scriptures that just wants me to read out. 
And so we've got Romans 16, 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offences contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. And again, you know, he doesn't want strife amongst the brethren, not at all. And we're not to get into debates. If we have a question about everything, we are to take it all to the Lord. And 2 Timothy 4, 34. Um, uh, 3 to 4. I beg your pardon. 2 Timothy 4, 3 to 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. And absolutely, there's just hundreds of people right now. I know because I get hundreds and hundreds of emails with this. Hundreds of people are being seduced by the doctrines of devils and listening to fables. And so again, the answer to that is get into the secret place and pray and ask the Lord about everything. And then Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. Uh, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. If they fall away to renew them again unto repentance seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. And again, this is the people that are willfully sinning, willfully sinning. And 2 Peter 2, 20 to 22. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein, and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it is happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. And again, a warning to not not turn away um, from our God, keep your eyes fixed on our God and not to go back into the world. Because once you know, and you've been given the holy commandment um, and then to go back into the world, having known righteousness, then the end will be worse for you is what this is saying. And so other scriptures then, Daniel 11.32 and as such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. And that's the Antichrist again. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Ezekiel 18.30 Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, says the Lord God. Repent and turn to yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquities shall not be your ruin. Isaiah 29, 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honour me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precepts of men. Matthew 10, 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Isaiah 53, 6 All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 59, 2 But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Proverbs 14, 12. There is a way which seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, 
to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Absolutely. And this is the grace. This is the grace that we have. First John 2, 5. But whoso keeps his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. First John 3, 10. In this is the children of God made manifest and the children of the devil. Whosoever does not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loves not his brother. 1 John 5, 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Matthew thirteen fifteen. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their lest uh, and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed with their ears and should understand with their heart and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Deuteronomy 6 5 and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And Psalm 91 1 2 he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. And there's many, many more scriptures which I will um, put down below in the description box. And I, I hope you take the time to go through them all because these are your confirmations um, that go with the word. And so, yeah, the... The lack of knowledge is the lack of knowledge of God. And at the moment, everyone just seems to be so distracted with what the enemy is doing and so distracted with all these false doctrines that have been thrown out about there and trying to find the truth. The truth is our God. And we have our eyes fixed on our Lord Jesus Christ, our Yeshua HaMashiach. We have our eyes fixed on him. He is truth. He is the way. He is the life. And that was another word yesterday. So no need for running around and, and getting all panicked and fearing what the enemy is doing. We only have our fear of God. And this is because when we fear our Lord, not only is this the beginning of wisdom, but we have our eyes then fixed on what we what we fear. And so our God loves us. And this is what his law, his love and instructions are for. So we read from Genesis to Revelation and we get to know him. We get to know his ways. We abide in him and we abide with our God. And so there, there is where the knowledge of God is in our word that we need to be reading every single day. OK, um, I hope this I hope this all makes sense. Um, and I hope this is a blessing to some um, for sure. And I just want to say again that I won't be picking up any questions that I'm being asked in the emails. But please, if you um, if you still have a testimony as well that you want to share, I'm happy to receive your testimonies. If any of you are in crisis or really struggling right now, you know, please, please send me them emails and I can get back to you. Um, and prayer requests. Absolutely. My time now is being spent in prayer. But I will get back to anyone. If you're struggling with anything, please, please email me and get in touch. I will not be answering though any more questions. You need to be taking all of your questions to the Lord in your own prayer time. And so I won't be even be getting back to anybody with regards to these at all. Um, so that's that's what I've been instructed to do. OK, so I love you all and I hope you have a good day. OK, be blessed.